the basic questions that our lawsuit asks is, one, how long will Harvard continue to condone slavery? And two, when will Harvard University finally free Renty? Harvard University's professor, Louis Agassiz, was a racist. He, while Abraham Lincoln was talking about Emancipation Proclamation, he was going around the country professing that he could prove scientifically that black people were hard, uh, inferior to white people. He was an equal opportunity uh, bigot because he also fought to keep Jews and people from Ireland out of Harvard University. But in particular, he uh, was focused on black people proving that they were inferior. And so he wrote all these horrible things about black people to justify the continued enslavement of black people. Uh, and he sought to ha obtain ocular proof. Uh, and that's why he went down to South Carolina, because he was looking for uh, pure African, because after the ban on uh, transporting slaves and importing slaves into America in 1807, many of the slave masters had sexually assaulted and raped so many black women that there were very few uh, pure Africans, as Louis Agassiz uh, had noted. So he went to Charleston, South Carolina, uh, and uh, started looking there. But he found in Columbia, South Carolina, at Benjamin Franklin Taylor's plantation, Renty and his daughter Delia, and he, uh, they were referred to as the Black African. And I remember Tamara asking her mother, well, why do they call them the Black African? We're all from Africa. She uh, did not know at that time about Louis Agassiz and that he was referred to as the Black African because everybody knew that he was a pure African. And this is what Louis Agassiz had been looking for to support his racist beliefs. And, the, and in terms of how Harvard—Harvard uh, only discovered these photographs, right, that they were stored in, in, a, in a file cabinet in one of, it, one of its museums back about 40 years ago. Could you talk about how they've used them since? Yes, sir. Harvard has uh, used the pictures. They've licensed them. Uh, these daguerreotypes are very, very valuable. They are the earliest known photographs of American slaves and some of the earliest known photographs in America using this daguerreotype. Uh, and so Harvard had licensed them to be used in films. They were seen, uh, apparently, in the movie Roots, and they've been used in several books. They are located in the Peabody Museum that charges uh, rep reproduction fees and such. But really, it is priceless to, to Marilyn Lanier and her family, because they're the lineal descendants. And when Abraham Lincoln and the United States government freed uh, black people in America, we didn't have any land. We didn't have 40 acres and a mule. We at least believe when we were free, we had the right and ownership to our person. And incumbent in that was our image. But Harvard is telling Miss Lanier and her family, no, no, Renty still belongs to us. He's still our property. And so this lawsuit just isn't about Tamara and the lineal descendants of Renty. That really, it really is about the lineal descendants of all African slaves in America, because slavery was meant to make sure that we had no familiar uh, pedigree, that we could not trace our lineage. That's why they would break up the male and the female after they procreated, and they would take the children from their parents because they did not want us to have a concept of family. They wanted us to think of ourselves only as property. And that's why it's so miraculous what Miss Lanier has done and being able to prove the lineal descendants, see, of her family. Because many of us black people in America, we cannot do that because the primary foundation of slavery was to make sure we couldn't do that when they sold us off and changed our last names to whoever the plantation owner was.